MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, it's the first of four between the Ducks and the New York Yankees. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. James Paxton, the left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Striding into the box, Lawrence Cohen. He'll get us started in this one Lino, under the lights. The Long Island, the Lawrence Cohen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First of four here on this Monday night as the first pitch of the game is over for strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, Debra, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today. But, boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys. Definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now, really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. Base hit, line drive into the corner. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he will creep ever closer to that record, as you see there. This hitting streak has reached epic proportions now. d -Row, this guy is just amazing right now. He's just swinging a magic wand, and it looks like there's no end in sight to this streak. Yeah, you can't think of anything else. This is national news right here. This is all anybody's talking about. When you start getting into these numbers, almost two months, and you're challenging Joe DiMaggio and the 56-game hit streak, it's all anybody should be talking about. On the year, Cohen is, get this, slugging over 700. That's a number almost unheard of, so if you can help it, don't miss any of his at-bats. Count now a ball and a strike. Steel, steel, steel. And there he goes towards second. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting Lee Hub, isn't he? works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Two and two. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Cohen stands at second with no outs. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judges under it. He makes the play. Runner tags and heads for third. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Matty, this team has high batting averages up and down the lineup. Just great approaches, consistent ABs from top to bottom. And that's the reason they've been so successful this year. Digging in, Stephen Cohen. Good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here, which currently sits as third best in the American League. Yeah, and right up there amongst the league leaders in batting average, too. He's set. Here it comes. Yep, that ball went out. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in, when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Fouled off.
A man at third with one away. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Boy, that's a good pitch right there. The old, old school guys would call that a little bit of chin music up and in. See if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. The 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And not in time as the run scores. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, Dero, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. From the belt, the pitch, a pitch out, the throw on the pitch out pays off as he is nailed at second base. Well, they guessed right on the first pitch pitch out. Sometimes you have to wait a pitch or two in the at bat to try that, but they must have had a pretty good idea he was going to be on the move. Two out, nobody on. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Here's strike two as it catches the outside corner. The two two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. So it's one run on two base hits no errors and no one left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Ducks lead this one one to nothing. Ricky Aguirre, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, this guy's been throwing the ball really well. He picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one, and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. Now to the plate, Poi Park. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here we go. For the Yankees, the shortstop, Boy Park. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Yeah, as you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams nope. a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. A 1-1 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. And it's up to a three two full count now. Fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. 
Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. Popped him up. Messina is calling for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. This guy knows how to drive in runs. Had over 25 runs batted in last month. You've got to pay attention to how he goes about it. Ground balls, fly balls, home runs, any way to drive in a run, and that's what he's doing. He tries to have a major impact on every game he plays in. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Labor Torres stands in as he looks at ball one here. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. 3 and 0 oh now. Well, of all the guys in this lineup, he's definitely the guy I'd be cautious with, especially with a one-run lead. No surprise that he's treading lightly right here. Now the 3 and 0 oh offering. Hey. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 -oh count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And he fouls this one off. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. First offering on its way. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. A runner on first with two away. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. All rise, Aaron Judge. A two-run shot. Number 23 for him thus far. And the Yankees take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb. Hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. That misses one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. 
Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back Jacks. A solo shot here to left and even 20 home runs for him now thus far and it gives the Yankees a three to one lead. Well it's very early but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or if he blows up. Could go either way at this point. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as he'll send a ground ball down to third. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many OO breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. He had to know that pitch was coming. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. The 0-1 on its way. Hit the other way out toward right field. His dudeness is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the top half of inning number two. The Yankees lead it three to one. Stepping in, Ben Whitney, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Boy, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. Here's a pop up now and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Lays off two and two now. Hit hard on the ground a second. Torres brings it in. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The right field. Standing in, Spencer is dudeness. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. This guy's had a super season so far, and we're well into the baseball season, so this isn't a fluke. He's been swinging the bat great all year. First offering on its way. Ball inside. Bases are empty, one man out. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Outside, 3 0 now. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. That is that. The designated hitter. Michael. Go in. 
ready now Michael Cohen and he enters play today currently fifth in the American League in hitting one of the best hitters in baseball and he does it with some damage too. lots of extra base hits he's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well first delivery to him on the way in his career Cohen is working with a slugging percentage over 550 so there's no denying he's one of the premier power bats in the league hard hit ball to short throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired nothing across here this half of the inning we'll go to the bottom half of inning number two the Yankees lead this one three to one. So stepping in, Mike Ford. He's set Ford to lead Yankees. off the home half of the second. The One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The windup and the 0-1. Line toward the alley in left center. Pierre will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Here's the catcher Alex Avila as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one. All two and oh hate to do it but I've got to question the pitch calling right there with a guy like this at the plate you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle of the order power guy. Pitch on its way to Avila. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Nope, and they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now batter, shortstop, boy. Coming to the plate now, Hoy Park. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's set and the pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Park is certainly a versatile middle infielder playing shortstop today despite being a second baseman naturally. Yeah, he's a premium defender. It doesn't matter. Anything that's in his vicinity, right or left of him, five steps either way, is getting vacuumed up. So they trust this guy's glove in a premium spot no matter where he's playing. Cohen is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, third baseman, Tyler Way. Digging in now, Tyler Wade, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the first pitch to him. Count one and oh. Two out with the man at first. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And this will reach the wall out around the 318 sign. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, d -Roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's leaking in the three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate. Line toward right center, and this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. And the second run is in. It's now a 5-1 game. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like, like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. He's ready. Here's the first offering ball, that's it. a ball of no strikes. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Judge is working with a slugging percentage over 550, so there's no denying he's one of the premier power backs in the league. 2 0 oh now. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Oh. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Two out here and a runner at second. There's ball four. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Stepping into the box, Miguel Andujar. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Looking to minimize the damage here. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Two down, runners at first and second. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well-executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. A pause and the 0-2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We played two full. The Yankees lead it five to one. Stepping in, Nigel Pierre as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. What a season this guy's having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders, and he's awfully dangerous with runners on base. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. One. one ball, one strike. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows tough. smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate Ow. challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. So now to the plate, Al Messina. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. 
He'll come in hitting 335 on the year and even 20 home runs and 91 runs batted in. The wind up and the 0 1. Messina still playing here at age 45. He's a second year big leaguer. Bases are empty, one man out. Fly ball right down the line and left. Stanton has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Shortstop. Warren. Go in. Ready for another chance. Lawrence Cohen. He reached on a single in his first try. And now pitch on the way. Back up the middle. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. The batter, the center fielder, Lucas Gomez. Now a throw over to first. No, oh, he's in there. And another throw over, hey. keeping particularly close tabs on him. To the plate now, Lucas Cohen, as he'll take a look at ball one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Throw over to the bag, a dive, but he's back. This is hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Stanton at the track. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Home run number 56 on the year. And it's a 5 3 game now. Oh, and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. At the plate now, now Stephen Cohen. Stephen. As the first pitch what to him runs there. a bit inside for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he crashes headlong into the wall. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. There's no way around it. This has been a rough start on the mound, so it'll be interesting to see how long that man is going to let him go. Maybe he settles in and can give you another inning or so, but I wouldn't bet on it at this point. That evens it up one and one. And now pitch on the way. A 
Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Here now the 2 2. Popped him up. Cohen has a play. One down. The bat, the center fielder, Aaron. Settling in now, Aaron Hicks. First pitch of the at bat. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Stuff has never been a problem with this pitcher. It's execution and location that has always been his bugaboo. And that's exactly what happened here. I know he's ahead 0-1, but he's finding the heart of the plate way too often. 1-1. It's a fastball that misses. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's for the Yankees. Now at the plate, Mike Ford hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Owen won the count. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go 1-2-3. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this 1-2-3 inning, I think he can right the ship. Oh and 2 here it comes. I got the count, 1-2. and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Fouled away. The one two. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Three innings complete. The Yankees lead it five to three. Into the box, Oliver, the man, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Comes back with the cutter and gets it by him. One and one now. hit the other way out toward right field. Judges under it. One down. Now that is the first baseman. Ben Whitney. So striding in Ben Whitney. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming. Here it is. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Torres onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading right pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Spencer, his dudeness, he flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Hey. Two out, nobody on. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach at 0 2 counts? My philosophy is this I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non competitive pitches, man. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone, but something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And now it'll be the catcher, Alex Avila. The catcher, Alex Avila. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And they've had some good at bats against him all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. At the plate, Poi Park. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And it's fouled away. Five runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. There's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Into the box, Tyler Wade. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. A hit in two tries for him so far. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Grounded up the first baseline. Five runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far.
way outside. One and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. That's lifted the other way out to left. Pierre is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now back, second baseman, Labor Torres. Into the box now, Labor Torres, who drove in two runs on a double in his last at-bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. From the belt, the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. A runner on first with two away. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. From the stretch. Misses. Ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. 29 home runs for him on the year as it is now 7-3. to three. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. He better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone or that total might continue to rise. Now time called here is here comes the skipper from the third base dugout and he's looking to the bullpen here so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll make a beeline for the showers I'm sure as he's going to want to put this awful night behind him as quickly as possible. You're Seth Simmons answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Here's big Aaron no Judge. Number 99. As he will Aaron. take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. It was a walk in his last trip. Hey. Strike two. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. The 2-2. Two -two. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. We played four. It's now a four run lead at seven to three. Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Cohen. He'll start things out against James Paxton as we get the inning underway. 
This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And he popped him up. In comes Judge. He's not going to get to it. So the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Stepping in now, Nigel Pierre. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The 1 1. Misses. Ball two. Nobody out. Runner on first. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. In now, Al Messina. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball stays high and misses for a ball. Big spot right here. Got to find a way to get back in this ball game and scratch a run across. Now the 1-0. New ball, no strike. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Eight. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Two and two the count. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead, he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. In now, Lawrence Cohen as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Runners are at first and second with one away. Three and oh now. Your offense goes out and gives you a four run cushion. You have to find a way to stop struggling. Compose yourself and get your mechanics on point. It'd be a shame to let this one slip away. Three oh pitch. And he misses with that one ball four and that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here.
first pitch of the at bat. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. And there's out number two. Wow, talk now about that. frustrating. That's not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop-up and nothing productive comes out of that. Digging in to try it again, Stephen Cohen. On its way is pitch number 75. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Swing and he pops him up, and this should get him out of it. And this is going to plate at least two of those runners as it's down for extra bases. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. So now to the plate, Oliver, the man, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Up top, it's 2 and 0. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Here's the 3-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Hicks on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left on base. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees lead this one 7-5. to five. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And standing in is the DH, Miguel Andujar. Miguel Andujar. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Ball three. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. That finds the zone a cold strike. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. The 3 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3 1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit change up or do you stay with the heater? Fouled off. Oh. 
It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. High and deep to right center. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And there's a final look at the numbers for the starter in this one. And clearly he was off his game this evening. Well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Giancarlo Stanton comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to 2 and 1 now on the Yankee left fielder. Fly ball to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now batting, the center fielder, Aaron. Hicks. Now batting, Aaron Hicks. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left handed against right handed pitching. Nope. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. A bouncer to the left side. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Hey, I can't imagine that's a pitch he was looking for right there. But he did his best to keep his nose in there and drive that change up for a base hit. To the plate now, Mike Ford, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here's the 0 1. Fouled away. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Right fielder looking up into the second deck and gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His first home run of the season as they open up a four-run lead. Sevilla as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh last time through was a base hit into his windup here comes the 1 0 a bouncer to the left side throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired Yankees get a couple on the two run home run through five innings tough way to make a living it's now nine to five. Ready once again Ben Whitney 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The first baseman. First delivery to him on the way. Late swing but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A 
A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 19th home run for him on the season. And just like that, it's down to a three-run ball game. the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound and he's going to motion for his bullpen here that'll do it for the starter tonight so he does work the requisite five innings for the win but he leaves his bullpen a tough road to hoe. Chad Green takes Go over ahead. on the mound here with nobody out in the now sixth inning the number 57 Chad the right field of the first At the plate now, Spencer, his dudeness, as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Base is empty here with nobody out. Ah. And he takes a cold strike one. slider that doesn't quite catch the zone it's two and one now now the pitch too high that time and it's three and one Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. So coming to the plate, Michael Cohen, he singled his last time up. Has a look, now the pitch. He's running. Strike taken. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. This catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. Outside for a ball, one and one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. No one out with a runner at second. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there. But you have to hold there, Devo, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Stepping in now, Nigel Pierre lifted the other way out to left center. After it is Hicks. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll get a bit closer on the sack fly as they trim the deficit to two now. 
great now job back. there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Striding in, Al Messina. First things first, here's the throw over. Runner is back. From the belt, kicks and deals. Pitch is high, the throw, way late, and he's in there easily at second. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Now the 1-0. Hit hard to the right, but foul. One out and a runner on second base. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. Well, Split it. Two and two. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now the three and two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. The batter, number nine, Gorka. Warren. Warren. So a pivotal moment here in digging in now. Lawrence Cohen, but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. off for ball one. Gets a good piece of it there but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. The one and two pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. He'll get it into second. Throw to second, and he's out. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. So they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees are out in front, 9-8. At the play, Poy Park. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now batting. The third baseman, Tyler Way. Ready for another shot now, Tyler Wade. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. The 1-0. Two balls, no fight. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number two for him on the year as they've taken a two-run lead. This one has turned into a slugfest of Ruthian proportions. Seven combined big flies. You guys remember seeing anything like that in a while? Yeah, hey, Manny, be this big ball sure, park in the boost. Has that short porch in right field, D-Row. But you can hit the ball out of just about any part of this ballpark. Yeah, this place plays sneaky small. I know it's got big gaps, but right field is so juicy. As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. Bobby Levins gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Labor Torres will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Can't connect there on the breaking ball. One and one. Yeah, flip a coin right here. I don't know what you sit on. Fastball in, then a breaking ball down and away. Pick your spot and go with it. One out, nobody on. Grounded to first. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Damn, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that you said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, Maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Levens is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Miguel Andujar is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. He's working on a one for three thus far. A ball and a strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Two out with the man at first. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. He 
in the dirt here but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A little late with the swing but he stays alive still two and two. Now you guys know me hitting's a process of elimination and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch I'm on everything else. Hit hard down the left field line but this is foul near the seats. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Right side but it's going to be a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. The two three four hitters now to start the seventh. It's now a 10 8 ball game. Jonathan Holder is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56, Jonathan Holder. Lucas Cohen will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two run homer that had him rolling early on. From the stretch. And that's in there for strike one. Going one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. And ball. he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And he fouls this one off. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Popped up. Wade has room in foul territory, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, catcher, Stephen Cohen. Now in the box, Stephen Cohen, two for three with a double on his line so far. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Holder, originally from Mississippi, he was taken in the sixth round during the 2014 draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Ball. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Ball. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Great spot on that 2-2 two -two fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Standing in now, Oliver, the man, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Oh. 
tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Now a swing and a fly ball, but this will land out there just foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. A one two pitch. I got to tell two and two. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is after it. He tracks it down, and that will end the Ladies inning. Gentlemen, rejoice for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Last half of the seventh here, and Four next to bat will be the outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. There. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. The 1 0 home misses for the second ball. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Here it comes, 2 0. Yeah. Call to strike there, 2 1. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Now the 2 1 pitch. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now batting, the center fielder, Aaron. Stepping up now, Aaron Hicks. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Chopper to short. Reined in. There's one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster. So the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. Mike Ford will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch coming, here it is. And it's fouled away. Here comes the 0 1 fouled off. Runner at first here one man out. And a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Just hung in there on that one. Here he comes again, 1 2. To two balls and two strikes now. And 
And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. In now, Alex Avila as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's 1 for 2 in this one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. 2 0. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Pitch on its way to Avila. Aye. A runner on first with two away. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Hoy Park would be next. The three one. Aye. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a curveball swung on and missed. And a great call there as the inning is over. The Yanks leave one. They lead it though. It's 10 to 8. Tommy Kingley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48. Tommy Kingley. Ben Whitney will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Now the pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. In his career against this pitcher, he's got a three for five line. He also has one home run. A one pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Canely is actually a native New Yorker who was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. The pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. So striding forward now, Spencer is dudeness. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Michael Cohen, as he'll swing and pop it up toward the left side of the infield. Park will put this one away, and his side is retired.
bottom of inning number eight set to go. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Hoy Park. First offering on its way. Too low with the curveball. One ball, no strikes. The 1-0 is laid off for ball two. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Three and one the count now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Hey, excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the, the home eighth. The third baseman. Tyler. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Tyler Wade. Leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Now the 0-2 pitch. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. Prior to the 0-1, here's a look to first. And again, a throw and a dive, but he's back in there. on the move for second and this one's in the dirt and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch well they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag so they were onto him but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance nice job of base running there One. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Working for the punch out and the offering. Runner at second here with one man out. And a 
will count as that misses. It's three and two now. And the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now batting. Right field. So here's the cleanup Aaron. hitter, Aaron Judge. Runner in scoring position with Sudan. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Two out here and a runner at second. Downstairs. Two balls and no strikes. Cold strike on the corner. Good change up that time. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. The 2-1. I got 3-1. Three, three balls, one strike. Miguel Andujar would be next. A high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. John Brown will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Miguel Andujar will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Here's a shot to right field and that's going to be in for a base hit. Hart is on his way home. He will score as they push their lead to three now. Hey, d -Row, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the end. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Runners on first and third, two away. One and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Bounds this one off. Here's another one, two. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. Runners at the corners, two men out. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. 
Yankees forced to settle for one. We've played eight full. The Yankees lead it 11 to 8. Ken Giles takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the rookie outfielder, Nigel Pierre. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Pierre, a veteran at 41 years of age, he was a 12th round selection back in 2017. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. fouled away and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time the pitch was away he let it get deep maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Into the box now, Al Messina. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. at that point either it's 2 and 0. Oh. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 and 0, oh, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. And this one's over at the knees 2 and 1. Nasty 2-0 -oh slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Chased a bad ball up out of the zone, two and two. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Another 2 2 offering. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Lawrence Cohen. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series 
and maybe even the whole week ahead. Here it comes, 1-0. Well, it should be 2-0, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One one. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. 1-1 uh, one, one. is a slider taken for a ball. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters' counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder, and everything went with it. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. That is just a great at-bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them, and that never-say-die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Stepping into the box, Lucas Cohen. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matty, and I think that pop-out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. Strike one to start the at-bat. The 0-1. And in game one of this series, it sure doesn't hurt that you make the closer come in and he threw a ton of pitches. It's possible he might not be available going forward. Two out with the man at first. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. The 2-1. Popped him up. He brings it in, and the Yankees have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. 11 to 8, the final score in this ball game. So the Bronx Bombers posted 11 runs on the scoreboard when it was all said and done. James Paxton earns his eighth victory of the season. Ricky Aguirre allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. Ken Giles hammers down the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, 11 runs, 12 hits, no error. They left seven men on base. For the visitors, eight runs, nine hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game: four hours and 17 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium: 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.